series of first reads. I read a poem by a poet I do not know or do not know well at all. A poem I've never read and just have a first reading. This is from Linden Avenue, which, if you don't know, was a great little journal that just just stopped uh, publishing this summer. So um, that's unfortunate. We, I wish them the best for their adventures. But this one, Joyce Schmidt. Schmid. Joyce Schmid. Sorry, Joyce. Tree Mother. And when, anytime I see a poem, I look at the form first. I look at this one when they're triplets so old, drought, you, rewet, again, leaves. I've not seen a rhyme scheme, but it is in threes. I don't see a standard meter. You can see I refuse to love you then when you rolled. It looks like 11 syllables. But then turned brown and fell. You know, that's only four later on, so some variation. It looks like a fairly standard American poem these days. Tree Mother. A woman can be proud and stiff when on love and tent. Yeats, yes. I know this one. From Yeats. I took a whole class in Yeats in grad school. I don't always associate him with anything good with women, unfortunately, from his biography, but I'll leave that alone. I refuse to love you then, when you were old, when you were old. There you go, there's Yeats, right in the first line. Take down this book, right? I refuse to love you then, when you were old. Although I felt your heart would drying in the drought. Oh, our speaker's here. Right there, symbolic, non-human. Tree in themselves, tree mother, as we're told in the beginning, I refuse to love you then when you were old. This is usually um, this is such an interesting line because you don't usually get this. Although I felt your heart would dry in the drought, so the heart wood is drying up. I flew 3,000 miles to water you. This I, the narrator, fl flies across to water, which it feels like a tree because we have heartwood, but the flying 3,000 miles doesn't seem to go with this. So the mother as a tree herself, but all the saline in the hospital could not re-wet. And we're in a hospital, so it doesn't feel like trees. Somebody's dying. Your phloem and your xylem never flowed again, so there you go, back to um, plant, plant uh, biology. And this, the beetles burrow it into you, cracking leaves. So it's tree image, this tree image mixed in with like life of a person image. Turned brown and fell, and then the fires came for you. Now lakes and rivers gather musk from rain, no longer filtered by your roots. But the air is empty of the oxygen you made. This like sense of something left behind when the fires have come when you're old and your heartwood is dried out from the drought and you can't be re-wetted there's an absence now lakes and rivers gather musk murk from rain murk from rain no longer filtered by your roots the air is empty of the oxygen you made so this sense of you what you made dry grass and brush profane the footprint you had left behind it's this gone, the sense of being gone, and I am old and burning for your shade, I who did the duty that a daughter does, so proud, so stiff, so cold, ah, this is an interesting take, so the daughter has come for the dying tree, even though we have tree mother in the beginning, so there might be the die. The daughter has come for the tree mother, who is the tree itself, the heartwood in the beginning, who has dried up. Mm. Time has taken and has left this emptiness, in this space where she used to be that she's not anymore, and other things profane that space, and that the daughter now is old. I who did the duty the daughter does, so proud, so stiff, so cold, this is what the daughter does, and the end. 
really feel the presence of like Yeats's poems in here coming out which you know I think with that first line when you were old that even if we didn't have the Yeats quotation this would come come up um, even without it very interesting little poem I like I really like to see this in a series I think it's just the sounds in this work really well like I, once I got to the end I had to reread what I had read that's okay that's part of the experience of having going through a poem and figuring out what's going on I like the images really clear um, I'm I am old and burning for your shed I who did some nice repetitive sounds in here but it's like a really rich sound so I'd really like to see this in a series with other stuff I think this would make for a nice chapbook anyway enjoy reading it um, I'll definitely have to check out um, Joyce Schmid more of her work and uh, see if it goes in a similar direction like I said Linden Review August 2017 check it out